and it was just like, oh, it's an it's it's a new hope all over again. Okay. This is a frontier. So keep your solar dollars in your pockets and your pants on until you get a lay of this place. Believe me, there's more ways than one to lose both out here. Today I've got a trailer here that I saw on YouTube and I really had no idea. It's called Andor, a TV series by Disney. I believe it's on Disney Plus about the Star Wars character Cassian Andor from Rogue One. I'll come right out and say I haven't seen Rogue One seen pieces of it on YouTube, never sat down and watched it, totally honest about that. Part of me was interested, part of me wasn't, because I read enough reviews at the time it came out, back in 2016, that said it was just kind of eh, and so I was like, I don't want to waste my 10 bucks and go see it, you know what I mean? I don't really feel like doing that. And so now, apparently, they, they have created a TV show uh, about one of the characters, Cassia Andor, from the movie. So it is set, according to Wikipedia, five years before the events of Rogue One. So that would be still between the episode or the, the, the movies three and four. So it would still be between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. So talking about Star Wars if canon means anything at this point I mean I still think it does and I, I I'm an original trilogy fan I tolerate the prequels the prequels were what I saw the sequels the prequels were actually a lot of fun <laughs> and, I mean the, the sequels definitely elevate the prequels it's like yuck. I, I mean it was so bad I mean I'll, I'll be totally honest with you so I saw um, Force Awakens at midnight in IMAX all right, that's what I did. <laughs> I drove an hour to see Force Awakens in IMAX at midnight, all right? I had my tickets pre-ordered, I did that. <laughs> so, 2015, the release of that movie, I did that. Uh, midnight, IMAX. And it was just like, oh, it's, an, it's, it's a new hope all over again, okay? I also saw Last Jedi. I went to see that, and I kid you not, it wasn't a full theater. I, I think I went at like a five o'clock show. I kid you not, two guys down in front of me, they got up and left. I kid you not, they got up and left halfway through the movie. Halfway through Last Jedi, I looked down and two guys were gone. I'm like, did they, they seriously walked out? And I'm like, I was, Man, I, I was like, even at the time, I was like, this is not your father's Star Wars. <laughs> I think that was about the time where we had the, where we had the will to be stampede through the casino. <laughs> and it was just like, oh, oh my God. It's like, what is happening? I don't know. So anyway, YouTube has destroyed Last Jedi probably enough for right now without me saying any more about it. So maybe I'll get into it someday, I don't know. But I mean, that I, I, I've watched enough videos of that over the years. I won't go into it right now. So I will focus on Andor. I guess we'll see what happens with this series. It's a prequel to the one. And yeah, here's a trailer for Andor, the TV show. from the Empire and Andor himself is you just walk in like you belong they're so proud of themselves 
so fat and satisfied. They can't imagine that someone like me would ever get inside their house. Cassian Ander. The Empire is choking us so slowly. We're starting not to notice. What I'm asking is this. Wouldn't you rather give it all to something real? I need all the heroes I can get. For the greater good. Call it what you will. Let's call it war. Ah, those workers in this again. There's fermenting out there, son. Pockets of fermenting. You're in my net. Are you a fish? Or are you a thief? You're slipping. <laughs> I'm not slipping. I've just been hiding for too long. As long as everyone thinks I'm an irritation, there's a good chance they'll miss what I'm really doing. What are you really doing? This is what revolution looks like. I'm tired of losing. Greetings. This episode brought to you today by yours truly at Blue Mesa Studios. Please have a look at the links for Patreon. I'm also on Buy Me a Coffee and several other places that are shown on your screen. If you'd like to support the channel, that would really help me out a lot. Thank you for watching, and now on with the show. So, Andor trailer. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks pretty cool, to be honest with you. I mean, it looks like a war movie stuff again. You know, it looks like an intrigue movie. I mean, I don't think we saw a single explicitly defined, overtly emphasized Jedi. You know, no Force-sensitive stuff, so this is just like normal, regular people doing their thing, living their lives, and Rebels versus Imperials. And you get some of the more political intrigue going on, so, yeah, it looks, I mean, like I said, it, it's a very, the trailer's really good. The trailer itself looks really good. I don't know anything more than that. I don't know anything about the characters. I, I, I don't know enough about who's working on this to comment about what we may or may not see. I can't really hypothesize too much, except to say that about the only thing that I've heard good about Disney Plus was The Mandalorian. I mean, Book of Boba Fett was, from what I heard and what I saw, I mean, I didn't watch the whole thing, but I mean, just looking at the clips online and the trailers and stuff, I mean, not, not great. When the Wookiee Gladiator punched 60-year-old Boba Fett in the face with, you know, electric brass knuckles or electric you know knuckles i mean why was his face not caved in you know <laughs> so i was just like i mean okay i mean i get it well that's tough but you know nothing to back to old heel shoot man i played republic commando back in the day man rule 39 never say no to back to I don't know entirely what to make of Andor trailer right now, except that it looks really cool. I don't know who the characters are, to be honest, and who knows where they're gonna take those characters in the script. But yeah, the trailer in and of itself, I gotta admit, looks pretty cool. It looks like fairly high production value trailer. Editing looks good, it's cut really well, the music was good. If, if the show is reflected by well by the trailer if the trailer reflects the show i could almost see myself getting into that even though i just hate disney star wars you know <laughs> you know i might give it a shot if it's a good story and all that 
I will wrap it up there and say, yeah, it, it was a very nice trailer. Other than that, I don't know what else is behind the trailer and what else we might be seeing in the show. So, yeah, I'll wrap it up with that. Say thank you for watching. Appreciate y'all. Till next time, peace out.